Hey, guys, welcome back to Tenorshare. Today we're going to talk about something super useful, how to really back up your WhatsApp to iCloud on your iPhone. Whether you're planning to switch phones or just want to make sure your chats are safe, I'm going to walk you through everything you need to know. And don't worry, I'll also cover some troubleshooting tips in case things don't go as smoothly as planned. Alright, let's get started. When you back up your chats and media, it gets stored in iCloud, and that makes it super easy to restore everything if you ever get a new iPhone or need to reinstall WhatsApp. Now, let me show you how to manually back up your WhatsApp. First, open WhatsApp, head over to your settings, tap on chats, and then chat backup. Now, you'll see the auto backup option. If you don't want to worry about remembering to backup, you can set it to happen automatically. That way, whenever your phone's charging and connected to Wi-Fi, your WhatsApp will back up in the background without you even thinking about it. And if you want to include your videos in the backup, make sure to toggle on the Include Videos option, especially if you're someone who shares a lot of them. You can also turn on End-to-End -end Encryption to protect your backup with a password. Just keep in mind, if you forget the password, even WhatsApp won't be able to access your data. So, be sure before you choose this option. After these, you can go back and tap Backup now to backup your data. Then wait for it to finish. Then, we need to make sure WhatsApp is actually being backed up to iCloud. To do that, go to your iPhone settings, tap on your name at the top, then tap on iCloud. Tap Show All and make sure WhatsApp is switched on. If it's off, your chats won't be backed up, so just double check that. When you backed up your data and you want to restore it, you can reinstall WhatsApp and log in your account again. Then choose to restore from iCloud will be okay. All your data will be back on your phone. Now, sometimes things don't go as planned, right? If your backup is stuck or taking forever, don't worry I've got some quick fixes for you. The first thing you'll want to check is your iCloud storage. If your storage is full, WhatsApp won't be able to back up. If you're running low, you might need to free up some space by either deleting old backups or upgrading your storage plan. If you decide to clear out old backups, just scroll down and delete any backup you don't need anymore. This should free up enough space for your WhatsApp backup to complete. If storage isn't the issue, it could be something with your network or the sync between your iPhone and iCloud. You may need to change a different Wi-Fi or to reset your network settings. Just go to Settings, then General, and look for the option that says Transfer or Reset iPhone. From there, choose Reset and Reset Network Settings. Then reconnect the network after it's done. You could also try signing out of iCloud and then signing back in that usually helps reset any syncing problems. And if none of that works, or you prefer a local backup on your computer, without worrying about iCloud storage limits. You can use a tool like iCareFone Transfer to back it up on your computer for free. You can also use it to transfer data between devices. And you can easily restore the data to your phone whenever you like. All you need to do is download iCareFone Transfer from the link below on your computer, and connect your iPhone, then choose the Backup and Restore option. Then tap Backup Now to backup your data. It can backup and transfer your WhatsApp data easily between devices. After backup, you can also browse your message on your PC and restore them selectively. It's super easy, and it gets the job done. So if you want a local backup and transfer tool on your PC, you can give it a try. So, there you have it. That's how you can back up WhatsApp to iCloud and some troubleshooting tips in case things get stuck along the way. I hope this helped you out. If you found the video useful, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.